Welcome to Literacy Home Learning. This is a literacy unit appropriate for children learning from home during this extended school closure. It is designed to provide learning opportunities for primary age children and will help them to develop their abilities within the national curriculum. This is lesson number four in the series. Please listen along, pause the video when necessary and be sure to listen for the task appropriate for your age and ability. To be prepared, make sure you have something to write with and your home learning book. Follow along with the video and be sure to pause when you have been given a task to complete. You will know when to pause when you see the symbol in the bottom corner of the screen. In today's lesson, Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2 will be using different learning objectives, so be sure to pause the video on the correct slide. Key Stage 1. Your learning objective is to be able to use suffixes to change the meaning of words. Key stage two, your learning objective is to use expanded noun phrases to describe an image. Now it's time to listen to the first part of Leon and the Place Between again. I don't believe in magic, said Tom, as he settled on the grass in the show tent. Around him the crowd waited impatiently for something to happen. It's not real, hissed Pete. It's only tricks. Little Mo looked disappointed. Shh now, whispered their brother Leon. It will be magic. You have to believe. Look, it's going to begin. The lanterns went out. In the darkness, the crowd fidgeted with excitement. There was a cough, a whisper, and then a loud hush. At last, a soft blue glow lit the stage and the curtains twitched. With a ripple of gold braid, the curtains slowly parted. Bang! Three jugglers tumbled onto the stage to the pounding beat of a drum. Skittles flew fast and furious, back and forth, up and over. Tambourines rattled loud and louder. Skittles spun higher and higher. The jugglers twisted fast and faster. Then bang, the skittles went up, but they didn't come down. Everybody cheered and clapped. The jugglers bowed and bounced away. Once more, there was only darkness. Now one dim spotlight found a barrel organ still and silent on the stage. Everyone held their breath. The handle began to turn, but there was no hand upon it. Note by note, the tinkling song of the carousel started to dance from the pipes. Up jumped a barrel organ monkey, all made of wood and tiny hinges. He beckoned the moon to light the mechanical toys. A red-eyed crocodile snapped at a running boy's heel. A ballerina turned on her pink satin shoe. Painted animals paraded into the ark, and a flying machine lurched through the air, up, up and over the moon. At last, the barrel organ fell silent. No one stirred. For a moment the tiny creaks of the mechanical toys cast their own spell. Then they slowed, jerked awkwardly, and were still. The solemn monkey took a stiff bow, and the curtains closed, to loud applause. Now, said Leon, edging forward in the, the dark, now it's going to happen. Outside in the night, an owl hooted. With a swish, the curtains opened. Poof! A cloud of purple smoke filled the stage, and there he was, Abdul Kazam, sparks flying from his fingertips. Leon could smell the magic. Trust nothing, said Abdul Kazam, but believe everything. He threw his arms into the air, and the magic began. Paper flowers blossomed from his sleeves. Silk scarves changed colours at a whispered word. 
water poured into a hat turned into night air. Bright white handkerchiefs became fluttering doves. The crowd was amazed. Then Abdul Kazam stepped aside and there was a door. A door into a box. Who will step into the magic? Leon knew it had to be him. He stepped up onto the stage and climbed into the box. There was a gasp from little Mo and the door shut behind him. Look at the image on the screen. How did Leon feel here? Look at the next image. How did Leon feel here? And finally, look at this image. How did Leon feel here? Time for a quick task. In your home learning book, using a mind map, write all the feelings Leon might have felt during the story so far. So what feelings did you find? Make sure you share these now with your home teacher. Key stage one, here's your main task of the lesson. In your home learning book, use the feelings you wrote down earlier and see if you can add a suffix to them. Remember, a suffix is a group of letters added to the end of a word that changes its meaning. Let's look at some examples. How can we change these words? Firstly, we need a root word. We can then change the word by adding a suffix and this will create a new word. For example, our root word would be sad. Adding the suffix ly would create the new word sadly. Again, using the root word sad and adding the suffix NESS will create the new word sadness. And finally, using the root word excite, adding the suffix MENT would create the new word excitement. So what suffixes could you use key stage one? Adding LY turns an adjective into an adverb. For example, slow changes to slowly. ing could be added to a verb to show something is happening. For example, kick is changed to kicking. ed could be added to a verb to show something has already happened. For example, kick is changed to kicked. er could be added to an adjective to compare two things, for example, small and smaller. And finally, EST could be added to the end of an adjective to compare things, for example, cold or coldest. So a reminder key stage one of your main task again. In your home learning book, use the feelings you wrote down earlier and see if you can add a suffix to the end of them. Try to come up with at least three different ones. Once you've done that, try writing each one in their own sentence. And remember to use the suffix bank below. Remember, your suffixes are ER, EST, ING, LY, MENT and NESS. Here's three and four. Here's your main task of the lesson. In your home learning book, use the success criteria below to describe the image on the next slide using several good descriptive sentences. We would like you to use figurative language, expanded noun phrases, fronted adverbials, adjectives, verbs and adverbs. And remember, expanded noun phrases are phrases which use adjectives, to describe nouns. Finally, year five and six, here's your main task. In your home learning book, use the success criteria below to describe the image that will appear on the next slide. 
use appropriate adverbial phrases to link these sentences into a paragraph. Your success criteria is to use figurative language, expanded noun phrases, fronted adverbials, adjectives, verbs and adverbs. And remember, figurative language includes similes, metaphors, personification and symbolism. Key stage two, here is the image that we would like you to describe. So pause now. So how do you think you've done? Time to share your work with your class teacher. Remember to check your spelling and punctuation before you choose your favourite part. Well done everyone, that's the end of lesson four. We hope you enjoyed the lesson and decide to join us again for the next lesson.